Hi, I'm Sam with BiteSize.ph and this is Sulit Meal Hacks, the show where we cook 7 sulit meals good for 2 people using one main ingredient. If you like meal hacking as much as I do, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel, BiteSize.ph. So today is a very special and important episode because we're giving you 7 smart tips and tricks that will make veggie lunch meals enticing to your kids. And here are the recipes that we'll be cooking today. Cheesy torta katsu, seafood croquettes, and teriyaki nuggets and veggie rice balls. Okay, so for our fourth recipe, we're going to make rainbow mac. Now, why do we call it rainbow mac? So this is like a mac and cheese recipe, but super powered with all of these colorful vegetables. And what's nice about this, yung sauce niya, you can store it for a long time before you want to mix it with your cooked noodles. But this one, for today, we're going to teach you how to make it in just one pot. Alright, let's start cooking! So first, we're going to saute our hot dog and onions. Alam naman ng kids, when they see red hot dog, natatakam sila. So, even if you have to add it, like a bit of processed food to your healthy dishes, that's still a big step in helping them eat healthier. So now, we're just melting our butter. And remember, the full recipe is in our website, www.bitesize.ph. Ayan. So, mainit na yung ating butter. Pwede na natin i-add si onion while the rest of the butter is melting. Alright, so we're just sauteing this until aromatic. So, naamoy mo na talaga yung onion and the butter. So, when it comes to butter versus margarine, butter is still your healthier choice. You can research that. Ayan, so luto na yung ating hot dog. We'll just put them in the middle para so dali siyang scoop out. Ayan, lilipat lang natin siya sa bowl. So, remember, be very wary or careful of cross-contamination. Huwag kayo magbabalik ng mga cooked ingredients sa mga bowls na, galing, na merong raw meat. So now, in the same pot, we'll add water. Alright, so ngayon, pinapainit ko lang yung water. Mag-boil lang siya or mag-simmer siya ng konti kasi cold yung water na dinagdag ko. And after that, we'll season it with salt before we boil our vegetables and our noodles together para magpadali pa yung inyong kitchen life. So ayan, nagsisimmer na yung water natin. And ang maganda pa, may flavor na rin siya because of our onion and butter. So now, we'll just add some salt. They say that to make really good pasta, your water should taste like dagat, like salt water sa dagat. So I'm gonna add na our noodles. And, tagagdag tayo ng strainer, dito natin nilalagay yung mga vegetables natin. So yun yung ating carrots, and then yung ating green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and kalabasa. So maganda sa recipe na to, one pot lang siya, so mas konting hugasan. So, I'm just mixing this around para lahat sila maboil ng tama. We just want our vegetables maging fork tender. Try kung manonotice nyo yung vitamins na galing sa inyong vegetables, yung vitamins and minerals niya. Di ba when you boil it, napupunta sa water yon. So, with this one, you'll let your noodles boil in that water, that vegetable water. So, it makes your noodles extra healthy pa. Ayan. So as you can see, fork tender na siya. Sobrang dali na niyang i-pierce with a fork. So that means when you make your sauce, it will be very smooth. And all of the vitamins and minerals from them went to the water that's boiling the macaroni. So ngayon, hinayin na natin yung apoy ng ating noodles because we'll now transfer this to our blender. Okay, so I'm ready na to make my cheese sauce. So I'll add na our boiled vegetables. So, dahil na boil na natin siya and tender na yung ating vegetables, magiging smooth na yung ating sauce. So, very perfect to turn it into a hidden vegetable cheese sauce. And this sauce, you can use it for other recipes pa that you have that you need cheese sauce with. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're actually boiling for two portions because later we're gonna use half of it to another recipe pa. 
Okay, so now we'll add our milk. Okay, so let's add muna yung mga cheeses sa ating blender. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the stock from here. So wala ka talaga na sayang, even yung water na pinag-boilan mo ng vegetables. Remember, this cheese sauce, you can just keep it in the refrigerator and heat it up para talaga mag-melt yung cheese in the pan when you want, it, want to use it. Okay, and then I'll add lang din. So, mag-iiwan lang tayo ng konting water sa ating pan. Kasi you want it to dry out as you boil the the macaroni pa, to finish it cooking. Okay, we're ready to blend this. Okay. Okay, so this is really the perfect mix that you can already store in the refrigerator. This is not yet the final tea sauce because you're supposed to uh, cook it pa para mag melt your cheese at mag thicken yung sauce. But as of now, you can already keep it in the ref. So, na set aside ko na yung cheese sauce, na sa ref na siya. And now we're going to finish off na the dish. And as you can see, I fixed my table here. It really is the colors of the rainbow. So now, yung kanina nating um, pinagboilan ng vegetables at that's where we boiled also our macaroni. We're going to add na our butter on this. Just have to be careful when to add your noodles when you boil your vegetables. Kung meron kang vegetables na matitigas, you can delay adding the noodles para hindi sila sabay, hindi siya magsoggy while you're cooking the vegetables. So now, iboboil natin siya, isasimmer natin yung cheese sauce with the noodles. Talagang manunuot yung lasa. So at this point, you're pretty much okay na. Just add your hot dogs and you can serve it now to your kids once it's reduced and cooked. But you can also add, as I said earlier, all these other vegetables to add the color of the rainbow or the colors of the rainbow to your dish. That's what I'm gonna do na rin now para maluto na siya with the cheese sauce. We're gonna add na our carrots, the green bell pepper, our squash, and the red bell pepper. Now, you can really call it na talaga now rainbow mac. See? So nice, diba? Pag hinala mo pa siya. Oh, yan. You have na talaga a colorful dish. So we'll let this thicken first and let the vegetables cook further before natin dagdag yung kangkong. Kasi yung kangkong mabilis maluto, diba? So last na natin siya yung lalagay before natin siya isisang with salt and pepper and serve with the hot dogs. Okay, so nag-thicken na yung ating sauce. We can now add our kangkong. So yan, pag nakita niyo yung dark na yung color niya, tsaka magkulubot-kulubot siya. Yan, let's cook na. Ay, ka. Ooh. Nagbigyan natin ng salt and pepper. So that's it. Simple, right? And very healthy. And another tip, yung cheese sauce nyo na ginawa nyo from the blender, you can put it in ice cube trays and just freeze it para hindi nyo kailangan mag magluto ng madamihan. Ayan, look at that. We added na our hot dogs. It looks so colorful. Okay, we'll remove this from the heat. So after natin sinet aside yung mga ground chicken mix, we're now going to make our chicken cabbage shomai with cheese sauce. So for our first step, we have our recipe, our ingredient lang for this step is our cabbage. We're going to blanch it para lang lumabot siya ng konti before we roll our ground chicken mixture inside. So mag-init lang tayo ng water, ibaant ko lang yung heat, and then lagay na natin sila. Ready the foods. So you'll know if your cabbage leaves are ready kapag vibrant green na siya, tsaka malambot-lambot na siya. So these are already perfect. We'll put them na in our ice bath. There. So after 
after nito, we'll just set aside the water. And then, ito yung water na gagamitin din natin later on sa pag-steam ng ating cabbage shomais. Let's remove this first. Okay, so sinet aside ko muna yung water na pinamblanch natin. Gagamitin natin yun later. Ngayon naman, gagawin natin yung cheese sauce na kasama ng ating cabbage shomai. So here's the cheese sauce. Remember, kanina, nagumuha ako ng malaking batch of cheese sauce for a rainbow mac. Half noon pinabi natin. Ito na yun. I placed it in an airtime container nung siya yung nag-chill na para hindi naman siya magkaroon ng any cost contamination or problema. And then now, what you have to do lang is to finish it off. You have to cook it para mag-second siya. So medium heat lang and then put your cheese sauce na in your pan. And continuously mix until mag uupo na siya. So for the full recipe, go to www.bitesite.ph and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Alright, so it's ready simmering and thick na rin siya. You can set this aside to cool. Tapos lagoy na natin yung ating cabbage shomai. Okay, so ready na natin i-assemble yung ating cabbage shomai. So remember, kanina nag-set aside ako ng chicken mixture. So ito na siya. And the ingredients for this step, other than that, we have your cabbages na pinapalamig na natin ngayon. And our spring onions para itali yung ating mga cabbage shomai. Let's start. So you just have to put a spoonful of mixture. Kung isipin nyo, yung mixture na to na sa refrigerator lang, tapos everyday, yung anak mo, ma gusto ko ng lumpia, ma gusto ko ng shomai. Meron ka ng ready mixture, di ka na may rapan. Yung maganda pa dyan, if you put it in the freezer, you can store it up to one Month. Just make sure na you can portion it out kasi syempre magiging frozen siya, di ba? So you can portion it out depending kung kailangan mo lang kada luto. So ayan, gagamit ako ng spring onion para talian yung ating ginawa. Alright, so we'll steam this na. Okay, so ready to steam na. Ito yung tubig na ginamit natin kanina for blanching. So hindi natin siya nasayang. Pili ko na yung ating steamer. And we're gonna put na our cabbage shomais. We're gonna steam this for about 10 minutes. So that's why binalanch lang natin kanina yung ating cabbages para hindi siya maging fully cooked, para hindi siya maging sobrang soggy. At the same time, maduto talaga natin yung ground mixture to load. Alright, so we'll just, just, we'll just have to wait for 10 minutes for this. Okay, so now let's check our chicken cabbage shomai. Alright, they're cooked now. So we'll just transfer them to a plate. So for this recipe naman, we're going to make a healthy, famous bowl. Now we all know that famous bowl from that fast food restaurant, may platter na sila ngayon. But for our version, we're going to make it extra healthy with all these vegetables plus kalabasa. Now, kalabasa is very rich in vitamins, minerals, and potassium, which is very good for your heart and your muscles. For active kids, kasi it's really for sore muscles, you know, to recover. So yan, start na tayo. We'll add the oil first. Okay, I'll add now the green peas. And we just saute this with salt and pepper, and then we set it aside before it gets overcooked. Okay, so, this one, we'll just saute it. Huwag naman natin i-overcook kasi topping lang naman siya. And we add salt and pepper to flavor it. And this one, ito yung mga steps sa pag-inagawa yung early in the morning before nyo siya isama sa baon ng kids nyo. 
Because the rest of the recipes we did today, as I said earlier, they're all freezer friendly. So we're just waiting for the carrots to soften and then it's ready to go. Alright, so na yun naman, ibubuan na natin yung ating kalabasa. So we'll just cover this and let it boil. Tinakpan ko lang muna siya para mas mapabilis yung pag-boil. And don't forget, for more recipes like this, go to www.fightsite.ph and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Alright, so malambot na to. Let's check. With our fork. Ooh, fork tender. Okay. So, ngayon naman, natin siya hanggang mabawasan yung ating tubig. Isisan lang natin ng salt yung tubig para manood sa lasa ng ating malambot na kalabasan. Alright. Okay, ayan, nabawasan yung ating tubig. Pwede na natin siyang i-mash habang siya nag-boil to or like this simmer. So, we're mashing it in the pot while it's still simmering. Sa kalangan, continuous heat talaga para lala po maluto yung kalabasa yung bits at para mag-dry siya at mag-smooth out siya later on. Okay, so we'll add in na the other ingredients. Kita na yung napaka-smooth na niya and soft. We'll put na the butter. And now we'll add another warm cream. So just continuously mash it as you add it in. Wow, look at that. So the reason why we added warm cream is because it's a cold cream shot, the bag is so much na na mixture or kaya rin may inas sa kalabasa, magkakaroon ka ng matigas-tigas na parts, especially for your butter. So ngayon, i-tataas na natin yung heat para mag-evaporate pa yung liquids. Stir it continuously para hindi mas mulag yung ilalim. So yan, napaka-smooth na niya. We can ready set this aside. Turn off the heat. And that's for your kalabasa mash. So we're going to make na the gravy now for our famous bowl. And if you remember, kanina we did our nuggets for another recipe. Yun dun yung nuggets na gagamitin natin for this recipe. So let's go and make the gravy. Okay, so let's heat up na our butter. And then before siya mag-completely melt, lalagay ko na yung ating onion and garlic or aromatic. And wait until maging translucent si onion and golden si garlic. So basic step to, kailangan mong gumawa ng roux. Ang roux is a mixture of your butter and your flour na pag naglagay ka ng liquid, magpustikin yung liquid because of it. Okay, so if you have other tips that you want to share with us on how you make your own gravy, just comment down below. Ayan. Bawa na niya. We can add na our flour. Ayan. So we'll just brown it a bit. Okay, so now, I'm going to switch to using a whisk kasi lalagay na natin ng ating liquids. We'll start with the beef broth. Magka-clumps talaga siya in the beginning. Kaya mas importante talaga yung liquids na dinadagdag niya is warm para hindi mag-clump or lumamig yung butter niya at saka yung flour niya. So, ito mainat ko. So, kung wala naman kayong beef stock, you can use water o yung pinagpakuloan nyo ng kalabasa. Alright, so now we'll add na our soy sauce. Kita nyo, nag-thicken na yung sauce mo o yung, yung stock. Because of the roux or yung flour mo na lalo mo sa inyong isa. And it becomes smoother pag ganyan. Iba naman ang ginagawa sa dairy. So, yun yung cornstarch or flour na nakahalo sa water. Tapos, nadagdag naman yun. Last. So, kung nagtataka kayo kung yung difference ng flour sa starch, like sa cornstarch, ang flour as a thickener kapag malamig na yung dish mo, lalo siya ang nagtitikin. Habang ang starch naman, lalo siya nagiging watery pag malamig. Okay, this is ready na. We'll set this aside and serve it with our famous bowl.
Okay, so I got my shrimps from the ref na tinagtad ko na. I'm going to add this to our mixture para matapos natin yung ating chicken show my recipe. What I place is around one half cup of ground shrimp or tinagtad na shrimp. Okay, that's a good mixture na. So now I'm ready to make my shawmais. So ayan, pwede na natin i-form yung ating mga shawmai. So first, you got na your wrapper. And then, kuha ka lang ng 1 tablespoon of the mixture. So mga ganyan, okay na yan. Tapos, using your hand, kuha ka lang ng pang-form mo. Para the molo wrapper can go around the mixture. Ganyan lang siya. It doesn't have to be perfect because like when you see mga shawmai in the streets or in the mga restaurants, it's really just wrapping the wrapper, molding the wrapper around the filling. So I just have to continue this until matapos ko siya. So if you have more techniques that you can share with us on how to make this efficient, better, faster, or if you have any style that you want to share, just comment down below. Yeah, and so I'm done with my first batch. I'll just set them aside and continue them. Alright, so now we're ready to steam our chicken chomets. So I prepared wax paper or baking paper sa aking steamer para hindi sila magdikit-dikit kasi ang model wrapper, dikit-dikit yan. So stay less. And if you want to learn more show my recipes and other Asian-inspired recipes, you can go to bitesize.ph, our website. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So we'll just let them steam for about 10 minutes, and they're good. So let's now check our chicken show my. Ayan, they're cooked now. I'll just transfer them to a plate, and it's ready to serve. We're now ready to serve our chicken shawmai. So we're done! Seven sulit meals that are veggie packed and healthy for the entire family. Plus, they're all freezer friendly. So if you like what we did today, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel by Saiton H. And if you have recipe suggestions or you just want to say hello, leave a comment down below. This is Sam from Bicycle Talk PH, and thank you for watching our show today. Bye!